What is up ladies and gentlemen, my name is Bucky Roberts and in this video series, I am going to be teaching you guys about SEO. Now SEO stands for search engine optimization. If you guys are wondering what the heck that is, it's basically a way that you can improve your website's search results ranking. So basically what I'm trying to say is whenever someone types in, I don't know, what's this homemade eggnog that... <laughs> your homemade eggnog business is going to appear at the top of that list. So if you guys are wondering, all right, that sounds cool, very useful, but how do we do it? Well, what we basically need to do is we need to figure out how Google works. Because if we can figure out how Google ranks these websites and what formula they use, then what we can do is we can go to our website, tweak it to basically look at all the variables and make sure that we appear at the top. Now, unfortunately, Google just doesn't hand out their formula. However, we have a pretty good indicator of what some of those factors and variables are. Now, even if they did just hand out their formula, then you still need to account for, you know, the thousands and thousands of however many different variables that, you know, go into it. So there's a lot to talk about. And some of it is simple stuff that, you know, some easy things you can do to your website to really boost your search results and some other things are a little bit more complex but i'm going to be showing you guys step by step how everything is done i kind of want some eggnog now kind of getting off track let's let me find something else pancakes oh that doesn't make me <laughs> that doesn't really take it off my mind all right getting hungry now all right so back on track here do we need to worry about seo well the answer is without a doubt Yes. If you guys are just like, I'm just going to make a website. Hopefully people are going to find it. You know, maybe I'll share a link on Facebook. Not a good idea. This is one of the most important and most overlooked aspects of web design. Now, unless you own Facebook or something, then the majority of your traffic is going to come from Google. So a little bit of your traffic is probably going to come from Yahoo and Bing and maybe social networks, you know, just your friends. But the majority of websites most of the traffic is going to come from Google. Now, another cool thing I want to point out is in these tutorials, whenever I show you guys how to, you know, improve your search engine or pretty much search results ranking, it isn't just useful for Google. Any website that has a search function like eBay and Etsy and YouTube, any website where you can type something in and you have a bunch of results, these techniques are going to be useful because they all share a lot of similarities in their formula and the way that they rank those items in the results is, you know, the same in a lot of cases. So it's kind of cool in the sense that with traditional advertising, let's say you wanted to advertise your pancake making business, you would have to go out and buy a bunch of ads and they would appear on the right and you're basically going after customers. However, whenever you use SEO, what happens is you already have people who want homemade pancakes. So essentially, if you can get your search results or your website to appear at the top, then it's kind of like all those customers are now coming after you. So it's definitely worth it. One of the best returns on your time and investments. So I'm excited to get started. And before we get into the next tutorial, I'm probably going to go make some pancakes now. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.